Today I'm showing uh, how to identify the gene edits in the genius background. Uh, suppose you have a gene edited plants. I would say as example number five, plant ID is uh, uh, number five, and you just extract your DNA and amplify the specified fragments and send for the sequencing. And then once you got the sequence results, what you are going to do, you just align with your reference sequence to see is there have edits or not. Today I'm going to explain how we are going to align your sequence results with the reference sequence to identify the gene edits. Let's have a look now. So I choose two files. One is my reference file. You can see there is a three guides are available. And this is the sequence results you got from the sequence provider. You can see it's really nice in the middle and some of the odd uh, thing happening at the, when it's come to the, at the end. So you got the plant ID uh, number five with this uh, sequence results. So you are going to align with the reference sequence. So what you are going to do in the genius, just go to the tab align and then go to the pairwise align. So I'm using the default settings for now, uh, but you can adjust the gap open penalty and the gap extension penalty. Press OK button. Then it generate the alignment in between reference and your sequence data. So it's coming. Ming nights, uh, you can see. Uh, so what is the difference here? You can see the green bits over there. Uh, that means they are nicely uh, aligned. That means there is a similarity between the sequence results and your reference genome. And there is some uh, yellow color patches. That means there is some uh, dissimilarities. So where you want to look at? We want to look at near to the guide sequence. So first we will go to the guide one. I will zoom in. Zoom in. Okay, guide one, you can see all over here, there is no any dissimilarity. What does that mean? Here, TTT in the sequence results and the TTT in your reference genome. Okay, let's have a look at the guide two now. So you can see in near to the guide two, we cannot see any difference in between the sequence results and the reference genome. So there is no any edits in the uh, in respect to the guide two as well. So here I would like to point uh, where is that PAM sequence? So PAM sequence is normally in GG sequence. So you can see here, this is we referring as an N and there is a GG, right? So this is normally the guide annotation is a 23 base pairs over here to here. And normally guides are 20 plus this NGG. Uh, then move to the guide three. What's happening in near the guide three? Have a closer look. Okay. In guide three, you can see something happen uh, near to the NGG sequence. So here, all the way it's similar, but there is some deletion happening in the sequence results uh, near to this NGG site. So how many base pair deleted? One, two, three, four. So there is four base pair deleted in the uh, reference uh, in the uh, plant ID number five. So this is the how the gene edited uh, plants look like. Near to the guide sequence, there is a deletion or inserts happening respect to the NGG sign. So you can confirm that plant ID number five has a four base pair deletion, definitely. So now you got an idea about how to identify the gene edits in the plant and we'll have a look more details in the next video.